Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord and God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let your glory be revealed. Let your glory be revealed, Father. Let your glory be revealed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let your glory be revealed. Let your mystery be made known. Thank you. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let your glory be revealed. Let your mystery be made known, Father. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let your glory be revealed. Let your mystery be made known. Teach us to do your will, God. Teach us your will. Teach us your way. Teach us, teach us your will and your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, excellent God. Hallelujah, O Lamb of God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. O Lamb of God, we give praise to you. We give glory and honor to you. Salvation and strength, power and might, wisdom and honor is yours. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Oh, great, excellent Father, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You alone are the Christ. You alone are the Christ. You are the hope of glory. You are the hope of our glory. You are the hope. You are the hope of our glory. You are the hope of glory. In the name of Jesus, we come to you. We come to you. We look unto thee. In the name of Jesus, oh, that we might see thee. Oh, that we might see thee. Behold thee, O oh God. That we might behold your presence. Behold you, behold you, that we might behold you and learn of thee, O God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We lean not to our own understandings. Oh, that we might observe you. Oh, that we might know you. Oh, that we might teach your way. As Jesus says, I do only those things that I see my Father do. Oh, that we may see and observe. Oh, that it would start with the book, God. It would start with the Bible. It would start with what have already been done. What we have already seen and beheld you do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, excellent God. Work in our lives. Work in our lives. Work in our lives. Work in us. Work in us. Work through us. Let your will be done. Let your glory be revealed. Let your mystery be made known. We love you, excellent God. We love you, excellent God. We love you. We love you, excellent God. We love you, excellent God. We love you. We love you, excellent God. We love you. And we give praise to God. We give you praise. We give you praise, Father. We give you praise, Holy Father. We give you praise. There's none like you nowhere. None like you. None like you. None like you unto you. None like unto you. None is like unto thee in the name of Jesus. 
Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Ah, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Lamb of God who takes away all of the sins of the world, we love thee. We love you, excellent God. We love you, we love you, we love you, we love you, excellent God. Hey, God, we love you, we love you. We love you, Jesus, we love you. We love your name. Your name is great. We love you. We give praise to you, glory to you, honor to you, salvation and strength, power and might. Wisdom and honor is yours. 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 The name of Yeshua. Yeshua HaMashiach. Oh God, we give praise to you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, excellent God. Thank you, excellent God. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for this moment. Thank you. Thank you for an opportunity to seek your face and to come before you. Yes, Lord, that we may learn of you. Oh, that we may learn of you. Father, that we may learn of you, that I may learn of you, that I may learn of you, that I may teach people your way, that I may teach men, women, boys, and girls of your way in the name of Yeshua. Oh, Jesus, we lay aside every weight and the sin which do so easily beset us. We lay aside every weight. We willingly lay aside every weight. Father, we willingly lay aside every weight. Help us to lay aside every weight. Yes, Lord, we come that we may lay aside every weight, every weight, every weight, every weight. We lay aside every weight, every weight. We lay aside every weight. And the sin which do so easily beset us in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus. Oh, excellent God, excellent God, excellent God, excellent God. Your will must be done, excellent God, in the name of Yeshua. Let your will be done here. Let your will be done in this place. Let your will be done in this place. Your will be done in this place. Your will be done in this place. In Jesus' name. Oh, let your will be done in this place. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we seek your will. We seek your will. We seek your will here. We seek your will here. In the name of Yeshua. In the name of Yeshua. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for allowing us to come before you. We thank you for allowing us to come before your presence. We thank you. We thank you for allowing us into your into your counsel. Thank you for allowing us into your counsel. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Father, for allowing us into your counsel. Thank you for allowing us to come before thee, to bring our petition before thee. Thank you, Holy Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, that we will never stop doing the will of God. Oh, Father, use us from this platform tonight. Hallelujah. That we may learn your will. Teach us your will. Teach us to walk in the love of God. Teach us to love, walk in the love of God and to keep your commandments. In the name of Jesus, to love you, to keep your commandment that we may live, God. That we may live upon the earth, God. That we may do your will. That we may live as ambassadors. We may live as sons of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, your will must be done in our lives. We must carry out your mandate. We must know your mandate for our lives. We must know the thing that thou hast desired of us, O oh God. In Jesus' name. Father, have mercy on us. Have mercy upon us, God. We pull down every stronghold and everything and every myth, everything that is mystical. We pull down everything that is distracting, everything, God, that is that, that, that is a, a, a fake, that is, a, that is not of thee. Everything, God, that we have taught men, women, boys, girls, that we have taught them that this is of Christ, that that is the Spirit of God. Uh, uh, that is the Spirit of God, and this is the Spirit of God. But Father, we have misaligned and misappropriate what is the will of God. But give us to understand the will of God tonight. Give us to understand uh, what the will of the Lord is. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, Father, help us tonight. Help us, help us that we will not go astray. We will not do our own thing. Uh, help us tonight, Father. Help us tonight. Help us tonight. We will not do our own thing. We will not, oh God, walk in our own religion. We will not become self-righteous, God. But have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Father, forgive us of sin. Blot out our transgressions. Create in us a clean heart. And renew a right spirit within us, oh God. We need you tonight. 
Father, we need you tonight. We need you tonight, Lord. We need you. We need you. We need to walk in the will of God. We need to walk in the will of our Father. We need to know what the will of the Lord is. We need to be guided by you, Lord. We are not guided. We're going through a motion. We're going through emotion. We're going through emotion because we have a form of godliness and we're denying the power of God. Uh, have mercy on us, oh God. Have mercy. Have mercy tonight. Uh, have mercy tonight, Father. Have mercy on us tonight. Uh, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Uh, Father, we come before thee that we may learn of thee. We come before thee, oh God, that we might teach men and women uh, your way, your way, your way. Uh, we're so caught up, God, with things. We're caught up with wanting to be blessed. Mm. We're so caught up with wanting a reading, wanting people to read our lives uh, as if we don't know our lives. Uh, we, don't, we, we want, we're so caught up in them wanting to give us a prophecy. Uh, give us a prophecy. Prophesy. Go deep with the prophecy. Go deep. Go deep. But yet we're still not saved. Uh, Father, have mercy upon Upon us. Have mercy, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Mm. We have built ministries, Lord. We built ministries and churches uh, where men and women are running and chasing after a prophecy. Uh, and we want them to prophesy and prophesy unto us. Uh, and we pay them great sums of money to, to lie unto us, to lie, that let, oh God, to lie and to heap it upon our lust uh, as if this is the key to the kingdom. Uh, but it is not the key to the kingdom, God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, but we have missed the mark, for we have uh, done things our way. We have itching ears. We want men to tell us uh, that this is the way of God. This is what would get us into the kingdom. Mm. Oh God, we want to prophesy. Uh, prophesy unto me, man of God. Prophesy unto me, woman of God. Uh, prophesy unto me. But they are not prophesying unto us. Uh, they are proper lying unto us. Uh, they'll tell us what we want to hear uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, they're telling us what we want them to tell us. Uh, oh God, they're not saying the things of God. Uh, for had they stood in your counsel, uh, they would have turned men to you. Uh, had they stood in your counsel, uh, they would have heard the heart of God. Uh, had they stood in your counsel, Father. Mm, they would know what the will of the Lord is uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and Father, help us to understand tonight mm, that the will of the Lord is more than just casting out devils. Uh, the will of the Lord is more than just prophesying. Mm, the will of the Lord is more than, uh, oh God, speaking into somebody's life. Mm, but Father, help these people to come to know uh, what the will of the Lord is is. We have thought that the will of the Lord is doing uh, a lot of wonderful works and building great big skyscrapers uh, and, and feeding the hungry and clothing the naked and just doing things uh, and giving our money to the poor. Mm. We have thought the will of the Lord is uh, uh, God to help those that are in need. Uh, we have thought that the will of the Lord is uh, in the name of Jesus to give large sums of money uh, to those who do not know you. We, we've thought that the will of the Lord is uh, to cast the devil out of that demonic man. Mm, we thought the will of the Lord is, uh, oh God, oh God, to open the blinded eye of the blind man uh, uh, to open up the deaf ear of that person that cannot hear. Mm. We thought the will of the Lord is to do those things, uh, but yet we live a hellish lifestyle uh, and we are doing demonic things uh, and we don't have our own life in control. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thought that the will of the Lord is that I can do these things mm, and live the way I want to live. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we have, we have gotten the gifts of God. Uh, and yet we want to do what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And charge people for the gifts. Uh, charge people for healing. And charge people uh, ah, to speak a word unto them. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus. Uh, 
that we have gone onto the dark side. Uh, these are the things of witches and warlocks. Uh, for it's witches and warlocks that charge men. Mm. Charge them for a reading. Charge them uh, to speak into the lie because this is their profession. Mm. It is their profession to look into the crevices of their life, into the crevices of their soul and lie unto them. Mm. For they are not telling them the truth. For if they told them the truth, uh, they would tell them what is the will of the Lord concerning them? Mm. The will of the Lord, the will of the Lord. Uh, what is the will of the Lord? They would tell them the will of the Lord uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, and the will of the Lord is, is, is more than food and drink. Uh, the will of the Lord is not doing the thing that we have found ourselves doing on a regular basis. Uh, oh, Father, have mercy on us today. Uh, have mercy, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Uh, help us to understand what the will of the Lord is. Uh, uh, we've been doing the will of man more than the will of the Lord. Uh, have mercy on us, O oh God. Have mercy on us. Bring us out of the darkness and bring us into your marvelous light. Have mercy on us. Uh, have mercy on us, O oh God. Have mercy on us. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, we need you today. Uh, we can't make it without you. We need you today. Uh, we need you, God, to expose us, to expose us to ourselves, uh, to expose us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, for we rebuke every form, um, every form of sin. Uh, we pray for unity in the body of Christ. Father, hallelujah, we prophesy that the body of Christ will come into alignment, God, uh, that we will desire the same thing. Thing, that we would desire the, to know the will of the Lord uh, and that we would desire to please you, Father, and not man. Mm, hallelujah. That we are not chased after men's desire, but the will of God is what we desire. Uh, we desire the will of the Lord. We desire to know your heart concerning us, O oh God. Uh, and tonight we want to say, Lord, teach us your heart. Tonight, teach us your heart. Uh, oh, teach us your heart, O oh God teach us your heart, God. Uh, what is your will concerning us is what we desire to know. Mm. What is your will desiring me, God? What is your will for my life? Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, your word said, look ye on the field. Uh, uh, look on the field. Look on the field. Uh, for the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. Uh, pray you to the Lord of the harvest that he might send forth laborers uh, into his vineyard. Uh, and your vineyard is so large and so great mm, that everybody doesn't have to do the same thing. Uh, and if everybody end up doing the same thing, we do not have to clash doing the same thing while doing the same thing. Lord, have mercy mercy on us in Jesus name. And Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We assume we know the will of the Lord. Uh, we assume that opening blinded eyes is the will of the Lord. Uh, we assume, God, hallelujah, that we are doing the will of the Lord by, by simply saying, Lord, have your way in our lives uh, in the name of Jesus. And we don't realize that that's just the beginning of it. Uh, uh, to ask of you the excellent way, to ask of you. You, uh, yeah, 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 the clear path, to seek after the clear path, uh, to seek after the will of God, to seek and to know the will of God. Mm. But now that we have sought after your path, if we have sought for your way, after we have sought and asked of you, Lord, to show us your will concerning us, uh, now help us to do what you say do, to, to walk in the path of righteousness, to do what the will of the Lord is. Uh, now that we know what it is to do what you say do, to, to follow your course, God, to follow what you have given to us, follow the mandate for our lives. Mm. In the name of Jesus. And the mandate for my life may differ from the mandate on somebody else's life. Uh, uh, the mandate of loving you, God. And the way that I should love you may differ just a little bit from that of somebody else, God. Uh, for you know the thing that have trapped me up. You know the thing that have hindered me. You know the thing that have caught my attention. You know the thing that have lured me away, oh God. Uh, you know the thing that I've struggled with from day to day. Uh, and that 
that thing that had become my struggle may not become Buster's struggle. Uh, it may not become Luann's struggle. Uh, and I'm asking you, oh God, oh, oh God, to discipline me uh, that I would follow to know your will concerning my life. Mm. Yes, God, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. Uh, I want to know your will concerning me. Uh, I want to know your will for my life. Um, I want to know your will, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I don't want to assume that I know it. Mm. For to assume uh, that I know your will is to cast out devils. Uh, to assume that I know your will, God, is to, is to go forth and start opening blinded eyes uh, and to grab somebody that's deaf and command their ears come open uh, and to pull somebody out of a wheelchair and command that they walk again. Uh, and I would think that that is the will of God. Uh, but I would live God, hallelujah, and have a raggedy life. Mm, a raggedy life that is not doing the will of God, that, that's so willing to lie and so willing to fornicate and so willing to, to do the flesh things and to, and to engulf myself in the lavish lifestyle of the, the rich and famous God uh, and to do the things that does not, uh, hallelujah, that does not dictate righteousness, that does not line up with the plan of God uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. And tonight we're asking thee uh, that thou God will help us, 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 oh God, help us tonight. Mm. Help me tonight, God, uh, to know the will of God, mm, to follow in your footsteps, uh, uh, to do as Jesus said. Uh, I will do only those things that I see my father do. Uh, oh, oh, God, uh, I want to do what I see you do. Uh, I want to do what I see you do. Uh, but before you began to, to open blinded eyes and before you began to, to unstop the deaf ears and before you uh, died on an old rugged cross, before, 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 before you turned the water into wine, uh, what did you do? Uh, oh God, oh God, for you came uh, in the love of Father. Mm. Hallelujah. Uh, you came in the love of Father. For the Bible says, for, for God so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, uh, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but shall have uh, everlasting life. Father, 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 have mercy on us, O God, for the things that we are, are trying to do, the thing we are desiring to do uh, are without the love of Father. In Jesus' Jesus name. Uh, but Father, help us to follow you uh, by doing the will of God. Uh, help us to love you, God, with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our might, with all of our strength, uh, to love you is to know you, to know you is to love you. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Oh God, what, what must I do? What must I do uh, in the name of Jesus? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. What must I do? What must I do? What must I do? What must I do, God, uh, to keep your commandments? Uh, uh, it's important that I keep your commandments. Uh, hallelujah. That if you love me, mm -hmm. If you love me, uh, the will of the Lord, if you love me, uh, we can't serve you unless we love you. Mm. In the name of Jesus, uh, for if you love me, keep my commandments. Uh, uh, my commandments are not grievous. Mm. My commandments, my commandments is more uh, than casting out devil. My commandments is more uh, than opening the blinded eyes and, and, and unstopping the deaf ears. And, and these things are good things. Uh, uh, but, 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 but is it the will of God? Uh, for the will of God has to do with me walking in a disciplined lifestyle. Uh, 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 yeah, God. Uh, to walk in a disciplined lifestyle. To, uh, to harness my flesh, uh, to bring my flesh under subjection. Uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, God. Uh, uh, to bring my flesh under subjection mm, and to live an unspotted lifestyle, uh, unspotted from the cares of this world, uh, unspotted from the rudiments of this world, uh, unspotted from the things of this world. Uh, in the mighty
mighty name of Jesus, uh, that my life will not be a statistic, uh, that I will not line up with the statistics. I will not line up, oh God, uh, at the flowers of sin. Mm. Oh God, uh, but that thou God would cause me to come away, come away, uh, to come away with you. Uh, and now that I've come away with you, uh, I want to follow you. Uh, but now how do I follow your father? Ah, uh, uh, you said to pick up my cross, uh, huh? As Jesus picked up his, uh, I've got to pick up my cross daily uh, and follow you. Uh, oh, oh God, uh, I'll follow you, Lord. I'll follow you. I follow you with abstaining. I'm abstaining from sin. I'm abstaining. Abstaining from the things that become troublesome for others and troublesome for my own self. I've abstained, God. I've got to abstain. Abstain from that thing. Hallelujah. It's not righteous. That thing that is not holy. That thing that is, a, a, an, a, is an abominable thing. That, that thing that is an abomination in the eyesight of God. I got to abstain from it. Huh? I've got to abstain, huh? oh God, from those things. Huh? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, that wicked, uh, uh, that, that draws wickedness, huh? Uh, that draws men to wickedness, huh? In the name of, I got to abstain from those things, uh, and I've got to put on my love suit, uh, and I got to walk in the love of the Father, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, oh God, oh God. No, I cannot hide my eyes from those that are going through, uh, No, I cannot hide my ears, I cannot stop it up, uh, from those that are in need. No, I cannot do those things. Uh, huh? But that, uh, from what I hear and what I see, uh, is only observation. Mm -hmm. Observation of what's around me. Huh? But the will of the Lord God is more than these. Uh, for the will of the Lord God requires that I walk in uh, a place where I get myself right. Mm -hmm. That I walk in a disciplined lifestyle. Uh, that I've come to know the Lord for myself. Uh, in the name name of Jesus. Huh? Well, what good would it cause me uh, uh, to give my body to be burned? Mm. Hallelujah. Uh, and do all these wonderful things, uh, but have not charity. Uh, uh, it profits me nothing uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, have mercy upon me. Uh, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, God. Uh, forgive me, oh God. Uh, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me uh, for being a stumbling block to others. Uh, forgive me, God. Forgive me, uh, oh Father. Father, forgive me, uh, for I have sinned. Uh, I have done wrong, oh God. Uh, for I thought the will of the Lord uh, was to just open the blinded eyes uh, and live the way I want to live and unstop the deaf ears uh, and concern, be concerned about just me. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, uh, I thought the will of the Lord is just to go to church uh, and give my tithe and offering uh, and say amen to the preacher uh, uh, and become faithful in doing so. Uh, I thought the will of the Lord was, uh, hallelujah, to just work in the kitchen uh, and sell chicken dinners uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I thought the will of the Lord was uh, for me to just work around the altar and be an altar worker. Don't let people fall fall and bump their head, uh, and that would do me fine. Uh, I thought the will of the Lord is, mm, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, oh God, to help people pay their bills uh, so that they will not become evicted from their homes. I thought the will of the Lord is, uh, hallelujah, to care for those that are going through. Uh, I thought the will of the Lord was just, hallelujah, now that I'm saved, uh, in the name of Jesus, mm, Hallelujah to run and, and stress out my own life and do all these under, all things, the, all these other things while my own life is in shambles. Uh, I'm trying to pay everybody else's bill, but my own bill is in shambles. Uh, I'm trying to help everybody else's life, but my own life is in shambles. Uh, in the name of Jesus. But Father, uh, hallelujah, we have misappropriated what is the will of the Lord. Uh, for the will of the Lord demands balance. The will of the Lord demands, demands 
understands uh, discipline, a, a disciplined lifestyle. The, the will of the Lord is not ignorance. Uh, the will of the Lord is not stupidity. The will of the Lord is not blindness. Uh, the will of the Lord is not ignorance. Uh, hallelujah. But the, Ill, the will of the Lord is, is, is to know him um, and to walk in, in intelligence of him and to, and to follow him because his spirit is not arrogant. His spirit is not wow and rambunctious. His, his spirit will lead us and guide us, but his spirit, there's a, there, there's a protocol of professionalism. Now, there's a protocol of righteousness. There's a protocol of humility. There's a protocol of discipline. There's a protocol, uh, hallelujah, of doing what Father say. Mm. And doing it as Father says, do it. It's, it's not to draw attention to my own self. Uh, in the name of Jesus, it is not to draw attention to myself, but it is uh, to highlight the plan of God, the will of God, the glory of God, uh, that men may see Christ in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, that uh, hallelujah, as the Lord has called me son of God. Oh yeah, oh yeah, according to the word of God, it says, uh, Behold what man of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called uh, the sons of God. Beloved, now are we, now are we, now are we, now are we, now are we the sons of God. Uh, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when you shall appear, we shall be like you, for we shall see you as you is. And every man that has this hope in him purifies himself, that even even as he is pure in the name of Jesus, the will of the Lord, the will of the Lord is to get my life right. The will of the Lord is to, to live a disciplined lifestyle. Uh, the will of the Lord, the will of the Lord is not to bring, uh, hallelujah, glory to my own self. The will of the Lord is to, to highlight God. The will of the Lord is that men and women may see Christ in my life, that they may see you uh, because, hallelujah, they have seen enough of James William. They have seen enough of my flesh self. They have seen enough of my hindrance. They have seen enough of my problems. Uh, they have seen enough of my slothfulness. They have seen enough of my doubt. They have heard me whine. They have heard me cry. They have heard my mischief. They have seen me get in trouble, oh God. But but now, now, now that I am in Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. Uh, it's time that they see Christ uh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, it's time that they see Christ in my life. Mm. It's time that they see him for their own self. Uh, and if men are to see Christ, they are to see the Christ that is in me uh, in the name of Jesus. For I am the hope of glory. Uh, I am the, the, I am the closest thing that many of them would ever get to God. Uh, and it's important that I live mm, a circumspectly lifestyle. Uh, it is important that I live to represent my Father uh, in heaven. It is important that I represent Jesus, the Christ of God. Uh, it is important that after meeting me, after those persons, after they meet me, uh, men would want to meet Christ. Uh, ask the people, neighbors and friends and co-workers and people I meet along the way. Uh, in the name of Jesus, there must be uh, there must be a fragrance about me. There must be there must be an influence about me. There must be something special about me. There must be something about me, oh God, that when I encounter them and they encounter me, uh, that after meeting me, they want to meet what uh, that they want to meet who I'm powered by. They want to meet who I'm connected with. That they want to meet God, who I'm walking with, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Uh, that godly uh, uh, influence. Uh, let that grace rest upon my life. Uh, let that grace rest upon my shoulder, Father. Uh, let that grace rest upon me. Uh, let the grace that draws men. Uh, let the grace that saves men. Uh, let the grace that calls them out of the darkness uh, rest upon my shoulder. Uh, let the grace. Let that grace, God, that if I never open my mouth, if I never open my mouth to yell one word, let that grace. Grace of God rest upon my life, God, that they will see you from a distance. They will not see me, but they will see you from a distance in the name of Jesus. When you came walking on the water, they didn't see you as a man, but they saw you. Who is that? It must be a spirit. It must be a ghost. Men don't walk on water. Something different about this one. Lord, if that's you, 
Jesus, if that's you, bid me come to you walking on the water. Father, men must be convinced of the life that I live. They, they must become convinced that the life that I live can pull them out of what they're going through. They must be convinced that the life that I live can pull them out of their dilemma, can pull them out of their marriage or situation, can pull them out of their hopeless state, can pull them out of their brokenness, can pull them out of their despair, can pull them out of their pain and suffering. Father, they must be convinced that the life that I live The life that I live. The life that I live. The life that I live. The life that I live must be able to lift men. Help me not to try to lift men with money. Help me to stop trying to lift men with money. Help me to stop trying to lift men with money. Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, give I to thee. Father, I'm finding that it's appropriate and sometimes it's necessary to not have money. Money become our crutch. Money has become the thing that have allowed us to become so confident in that we've missed you. Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, such as I have, give I unto thee in the name of Jesus, who alone is the Christ. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Silver and gold can't do this. Silver and gold cannot do this. Men are yet found paying doctors their silver and their gold because they want to walk again. They want to talk again. They want to see again. They want to hear again. They want to move again. They want to interact with their friends again. They want to interact with their loved ones again. They want to be a part of their family again. And they're constantly dishing out silver and gold. And it has not helped them. It will not help me. Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have. Give I unto thee. In the name of Jesus the Christ the God. Rise up and walk. Father help us tonight. Help us tonight to come to know what the will of the Lord is. Help us to know what the will of the Lord is. Help us to know what the will of the Lord is. We rebuke every form of sin. We pray for unity. Father, we prophesy unity in the body of Christ. We prophesy oneness in the body of Christ. That the body of Christ will come to know you as Lord, as Savior. And we will empty ourselves. We will empty ourselves, deplete ourselves of ourselves. Oh, that we may long for thee. Oh, that we may long for thee. Oh, that we may long for thee. Oh, that we may long for thee, Lord. The greatest lesson, the greatest lesson, the greatest lesson is to do the will of God. It is not to do many wonderful works. Father, give us wisdom. Give us insight. That we are to never stop doing the will of God. We are to never stop doing the will of God. Father, we thank you tonight for all that you've done and all that you're doing. I know my time is fast approaching, but I want to stay right here in this moment. And I want to call your attention, you who are with me. I want to call your attention to Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 29. I want to call your attention to that passage of scripture. Never stop doing the will of God. Never stop doing the will of God, but it is so important for us to know what the will of the Lord is because 
It seems as though we are confused about his will. It seems as if we are confused about his will. And the scripture reads, the start off says, not everyone that says unto me, not everyone, not everyone, not everyone. There are some, but not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. The one that will enter into the kingdom of heaven is the one that doeth the will of of Father which is in heaven. Father, teach us your will. Because there's a lot that's saying, Lord, Lord. To say, Lord, Lord, is to imply that they have a prayer life. To say, Lord, Lord, to, is, is, is to imply that know, they know who to call. To say, Lord, Lord, implies I know who to call. I, I know to call the Lord. So I'm saying, Lord, Lord. But everyone who says, Lord, Lord, shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Because some are not doing the will of thy Father, which is in heaven. Some of those that are saying, Lord, Lord, which will not enter in. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? There are many who knows how to prophesy, but just because they prophesied does not mean that they're going to enter to the kingdom of heaven. And just because they know how to cast out devils, Everybody don't know how to, but there are some that have learned how to cast out devils. And because they know how to cast out devils, doesn't mean that they're going to enter to the kingdom of heaven. And in that name done many wonderful works. And just because you're doing many wonderful works doesn't mean that you're going to enter to the kingdom of heaven. Thus my topic. The greatest lesson is to do the will of God. It is not to do many wonderful works. To do many wonderful works is to include cast out devils. To include prophecy. But just because you can prophesy and because you can cast out devils does not necessarily mean that you're going to enter to the kingdom of heaven. Father, help us tonight. Father, give us understanding tonight because we don't want to hear you say verse number 23. We don't want you to speak 23 to us because verse 23 says, and then will I profess unto them. Then will I profess unto them. I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. How did you get to cast out devils? If he never knew you, how do you get uh, to, 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 to prophesy if he never knew you? How did he get, how did you get to do many wonderful works if he never knew you? Jesus is not a liar, but you do have some that would try to find another way. You have those that would try to find another way, buy some power, buy some strength, buy some ability to be able to look into somebody's life. And that was, if it was not possible to do so, if it was not possible to buy the gift, Simon, the sorcerer, would not have said what he said. I'll give you money if you also give me of this gift that whoever I lay my hands on those who I lay my hands on can also receive that power. I like that level of power. I like that Holy Ghost power. I like that. Give me also that power. Also that power. I have the ability to discern. I have the ability to divine. I am a diviner. I am a, I, I'm one that works in divination. 
I have divination. I can pierce into their soul. I can see what they're doing. I can see their, 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 their dead people. I can see those things. But I don't have that right there. That's another level of power. Give me all so I will pay you money for that level of power. That whoever I lay my hands on. Those Simons. There are some Simons. There are some Simons who are sorcerers. And they know that if you give them money, they can pass to you power. They can pass on to you divination power. They can pass on to you power that will silence the devil, silence a cripple, undo some things. But just because they can undo some things does not necessarily mean that it is of God. <laughs> Father, help us to understand. Can devils silence devils? When men don't understand it, when men, when men don't understand it, they tried to say this of Jesus that he is a Beelzebub. He cast out Beelzebub in the name of Beelzebub. And it is, it, is, it is the saying of the people of that day that they figured that he is a Beelzebub to do what he's doing, to control demons and devils. He got to be connected to Beelzebub, the chief devil. And there are sorcerers who believe that if I am connected with Beelzebub, if I am connected to the chief devil, then the chief devil would give me authorization to move out a lesser devil and to tell another devil to be reassigned to another place. And that devil would have to move because he has to obey Beelzebub, the chief devil. And they pay money to get that power to work divination, to shift things and move things. Father, you've given us understandings, whether we use it or not, when you, talk, when you talked about a dragnet. When you talked about a dragnet, there's a, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a dragnet. That when the net is cast out and lost into the sea, and when you draw in the net, it drags in different things. And in the net, you'll find different things. Yes, you'll find some fish, but you may find some squid, a shark, an old boot. You may find other things that does not belong. You may find some things that you're not looking for in the old, in the dragnet. And the kingdom of heaven is like unto a dragnet. Father, help us to understand that which you want to articulate to us that we cannot phantom, we cannot understand, we cannot relate with it because it is so advanced for us. Because we don't understand how one can walk in the realm of the spirit. If they don't get the power from you, how can they do these things? But they fail to realize. And you want us to know this. You want us to know that men have gained power. Men has gained ability. Men has gained these things. And it doesn't necessarily have to come from God. Simply because they can cast out devils. Simply because they can do many wonderful work. Simply because they can prophesy. They forget the story of Balaam. Father, I believe that they forget the story of Balaam. There are people born gifted. There are people who are born gifted. Their level of spirituality is on a whole nother level. But if they're not harnessed, if they're not trained, if they're not taught, if they're not taught the things of God, the ways of God, they'll misappropriate that gift. They will misappropriate their gift. They'll misalign their gift. Help us to understand, Father. Help us to understand your word as you speak it to us. In the mighty name of Jesus, give us insight. Give us revelation or insight. Give us revelation or knowledge, Father. That there are some that are getting power and authority. And they want to put that on Jesus. Jesus rebuked that off of him because it's not of him. My father gave him this power. The power that Jesus operates in comes from directly from the father. 
And there are some who operates in a power that does not come from Jesus. For Jesus to say, I never knew you. For Jesus to use such a hard word, I never knew you. I never knew you. You've never done it my way. You've never followed my plan. You've never surrendered your life to me. You've never followed what my father and I have planned. You've never followed our agenda. I never knew you. Hmm. Many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? You, you use my name. And in, in, and in thy name cast out devils. You used my name to do that. You, you said it in my name. But in that day, um, in, in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me. Ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine. Therefore, whosoever will hear these sayings of mine. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, therefore, whosoever will hear these sayings of mine and doeth them. Hearing is one thing, doing is another. Therefore, whosoever will heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which build his house upon a rock because he hears and he do. And the rain descended and the flood came and the wind blew and beat upon that house and it fell not. It did not fall because when they were warned, they executed the proper plan. When they were warned and they knew that when he warned them, when he called them, when he spoke to them, they did the necessary thing because they heard father. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, they were not led astray because they were obedient unto him. And I will liken him unto a wise man with build his house upon a rock. The rain descended and the flood came and the wind blew and beat upon the house and it fell not. It could not blow it down. The rain will come, the wind will blow. The flood will come. These are the things of life. They will come. They will come. They will come. They will come. Daily they will come. The struggles will come. The rain will come. The flood will come. The wind will blow. And it will beat upon your house. But when you do what the Lord says do, it will not fall. But was founded upon a rock. It was founded upon a a rock. It was founded upon a rock. It was founded upon the truth of God. It was founded upon the spirit of God. It was found upon what the Lord says and obedience. It was found upon obedience in Christ. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not. Everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not. They go to church every Sunday, but don't do what they've heard. Does not pick up their Bible to read. Does not pick up their Bible to study. Does not pray. We've made it a good motivational message. A good motivational message. To live a kinder and a more gentler life. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be lacking unto a foolish man who build his house upon the sand. The rain descended, the flood came, the wind blew, beat upon that house. Circumstances came, temptation came, challenges came. Beat upon that house, didn't have to beat hard and it fell and great was the fall of it. Prayer time like this and messages like this come to strengthen us so that we can fortify our foundation, fortify our walls, use the right ingredient on our walls so that we will not fall. 
not going to ask you how many times you have fallen. But when we do not listen to Christ, falling is inevitable. But when we follow what he says, you don't have to fall. You will not fall. Because when you've done what the Lord says do, no devil in hell can penetrate the concrete of your life. No devil in hell can penetrate the concrete of your faith. The rain descended. Flood came. Floods came. The wind blew. Beat upon the house. It fell. And great was the fall of it. And it came to pass when Jesus had ended these sayings. The people were astonished at his doctrine. Father, we need some people to be astonished at your word. We need some people to be astonished at this word, astonished at this prayer time, astonished at your word, Father, for your word must live in us. And, the, and, and people need to become astonished at your word, astonished at your doctrine. Astonished at the doctrine that we teach. It came to pass when Jesus had ended these saying that the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribe. When we take the time to do what the Lord says do, people are going to marvel at the position that you've taken. They're going to marvel and what you're standing on. They're going to marvel at your faith. They're going to marvel because of your obedience. They're going to marvel because of the influence that you have. They're going to marvel on what you're standing on. And all you're standing on is that I am obedient to my father. You've lived a disciplined life to be obedient to father. Father, help us tonight. Help us to not only just consume the word, but to be obedient to the word and help us to find ways to, to get to know you better. Help us, Lord, tonight. Help us tonight to walk in your plan for our life. The greatest lesson is to do the will of God. It is not to do many wonderful works. Many wonderful works are good. When we have the proper ingredient, many wonderful work is good. When we, are, when we are listening to Father, when we're following his mandate, when we're doing his will, casting out devils, prophesying, doing many wonderful works, are good when our life is hid in Christ. But when we are not hid in Christ, and having the gift to do all these things because we are not patient with him. We are not in love with him. When we are not, when we are more in love with the, the, the gifts than the giver. When we are more in love with the miracles than the miracle worker. When we are more in love with us healing people than the healer. When we are more in love with things that we can heap it upon our lust to make our resume look big so that we can attract more people. Hmm. We want it to be about us. Father, help us tonight. Help us to realize it's never about us. Help us to come before thee, God, realize it's not about us. It's never been about us. It's about you. It's about doing the will of the Lord, knowing the will of the Lord and doing the will of the Lord. Knowing the will of the Lord and doing the will of the Lord. Hearing what you say do and doing what you say do. Hearing what you say do and doing what you say do. No matter how it looks, help us to hear what you say and do what you say. But therein we will find effective results. In the name of Jesus. Tonight we want effective results. Father, we want the effective results that draws men out of the darkness. And we do not draw men out of the darkness by just prophesying to them. We do not draw men out of the darkness. And I'm learning, Father, I'm learning. We're not drawing men out of the darkness because we gave them a prophetic word. We're not drawing men out of the darkness just simply because we cast the devil out of them. But they're still not saved. 
You said, don't rejoice because demons are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names, your names are written in the Lamb Book of Life. That we have turned somebody from sin to righteousness. We have introduced them to the Christ of God. We have introduced them to salvation. And they are fully surrendered saying, Lord, I want to know your will for my life. Father, help us to realize that the casting out the devils and the opening blinded eyes and unstopping deaf ears and the performing miracles, those are secondaries and, and those are the things that they come with because somebody is free. A life is free from sin. A life is free from sin. One that has been bound and who is free no longer wear shackles. The shackles are taken off of them. And help us to realize, Father, that no matter what posture they are in, that when a soul gets free first, then the shackles are removed. Then the shackles of sickness are removed. Then the shackles of death are removed. Then the shackles of pain are removed. Then the shackles of blindness, deafness, lameness are removed. Because now, that life is now saved. That life is now uh, transformed. Yeah. But we want to open blinded eyes without, without them getting saved. We want to unstop their deaf ears without them getting saved. We want to prophesy unto them without them being saved. We want to, oh God, want to cast out devils and they are not saved. We want to do these things so they can continue the life that they're already living. But your methodology that when you heal, when you've opened a blind eye, unstop the death ears, it's go and sin no more. Go and live a disciplined lifestyle. Go and sin no more. To turn a life from darkness and the healings and the miracles is to undo the cuffs that they are bound to. The casting out of the devils, opening blinded eyes, unstopping the deaf ears, is simply releasing the cuffs from their spirit, from their mind, the thing that have them bound. But what good would it do me to release the cuffs of one who is yet not saved? Father, help us to realize your will is to, your will for us to walk in love, to carry this gospel in the name of Jesus. Those who believe and is baptized shall be saved. Those who believe is not shall be damned. And Father, help us to realize that the greatest gift is for one to believe you and be saved. The greatest lesson is to do the will of God. It is not to just do many wonderful works, but to do the will of the Lord and turn that life from darkness into your marvelous light. We thank you, excellent God. We Everlasting God, we give you praise. We bless your name. We glorify you. Be thou glorified. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou exalted. Be thou high and lifted up in our life. Be thou high and lifted up. Be thou high and lifted up in our life. Be thou high and lifted up in this moment. Be thou high and lifted up. Be thou ever exalted, O God. Be thou forever exalted. Be thou forever exalted, O God. That we would speak aloud of your word and aloud of your wonderful act. That, that men would know you from our life. They would know you from here. They would know you from here, from the, from the grace that you've given to us to walk in, from the love you have shown us. Men will see you through our life, God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
Let the love that you placed on us, let the grace that you placed on us, let the grace and the mercy that you've uh, uh, placed on our life, let it be seen by men, even from afar off. Let them see you. Let them see you. Let them have a mistake of identity. Jesus! That's you bid me to come to you. Walking on the water. We don't have time to correct them, but simply say, come. And as they come, Father, we introduce them to you in an excellent way. Because they're going to simply, hallelujah, become distracted. And they're going to realize, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm simply walking. Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Save me, Lord. You want them to realize, wait a minute, save me. The walking on water is good, but Lord, save me. Save me. The thought of walking on the water is good. The, the thought of walking in a miracle is good. The, the, the thought of doing these marvelous things are good, but Lord, the foundation of it is, Lord, save me. Save me. Keep me saved. Keep me dependent upon you. Keep me dependent upon you. I need you. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. My time is up. I appreciate God. I appreciate you, each one of you being here with us tonight. Ah, may the Lord be visible in your life. Father, be thou visible in the life of these that are with us tonight. Be thou visible in their life. Be thou visible in their life. Be thou seen in their life. Be thou heard in their life. They will never take this moment for granted. In the name of Jesus, they will never misappropriate your grace. They will never misappropriate, hallelujah, the love that you have displayed upon their life. Father, I thank you. Let your glory be revealed. Let your mystery be made known. Shine through them. Shine upon them that they may live. And not only they may live, but everyone who beheld them will live. Change their story. Change their neighbor's story. Change the stories of those that come in contact with these. And we give you praise for it even now. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless us to all. Yes, my time has come. I've got to go. But I, but I want you to know that I appreciate you. God bless you. Go in the strength of the Lord. Amen. And do what the Lord says do. Amen. Amen. Glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Be blessed, everyone. Have a blessed night.